What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Sam. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are ready for another absolute in this video right here, I already gave you three tips to go ahead and fix your settings. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and help you with your whole settings. This is a whole in-depth setting guide just for you guys. So with that being said, I don't want to waste your time. Let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, we got a lot of categories to go through. We got general, we got graphics, we got weapon control, vehicle, sensitivity, all that. So we're going to go through all that today, of course. But I'm going to be as quick as possible, but also be as clear as possible so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Go back to the video. And if you follow along to go ahead and change your settings, then you understand exactly what you're changing. First things first, let's talk about the marker. Now, the marker is basically your ping. You go ahead and tell your team where you uh, want to go, what you're looking at. You also could go ahead and double tap it to go ahead and ping for enemies. I recommend having it on. I don't know why anyone would have it off. I know everyone should be using pings. Gyroscope is basically where if you move your device, your screen will move with the device as well too. People on phone use it all the time to control um, aim. I am not a gyroscope player whatsoever, so I'm not going to go ahead and talk about it. But if you are, then... I don't really think you need um any help about setting that up. It's right there, and then you can go to uh sensitivity to go ahead and change your gyroscope sensitivity. Auto overcome obstacles while sprinting is basically auto mantle. I have that off. I completely hate that. Damage numbers is basically when you deal damage to a character, they will go ahead and pop up a number of how much damage you're actually doing. You have the choice to go ahead and turn that off. Me, I have it on stack. But if the numbers do get in the way, you could go ahead and try floating, or really you can go ahead and try combining as well too. And then squad info notification is basically when you go ahead and if an enemy is in a gunfire or an enemy is not, it will pop up a notification. I recommend having it on, but you can totally go um, get away with just having it off. Next up, we got graphics. Now, when it comes down to graphics, really, um, the graphics quality, it doesn't really matter if you have it on stream, ultra, HDR. If it's not making you lag, then that's perfect. If it is making you lag, you can always turn it down. Most important thing is, though, make sure to go ahead and play on very high frame rate. Of course, if your device can handle it, but if it can, definitely play on the highest frame rate possible. That's going to make your game run smooth. It doesn't believe me. It's going to make you play a lot better visual style doesn't really mean anything it just uh, changes the way the game looks we got realistic fresh bright default obviously right here i use fresh but that doesn't really matter and really the last two on this doesn't really matter whatsoever okay weapon category aim assist have it on i don't know why anyone would have it off unless it bothers your aim that much which is weird everyone on mobile or near everyone on mobile is going to be using aim assist i don't know why you want to put yourself at a disadvantage auto fire is basically when you look at an enemy your weapon is going to fire i recommend having this off if you're a beginner of the game, you can, I guess you can have it on if you're just learning. But later down the road, definitely turn it off because it's going to hinder you a lot while playing Fortnite. Aim mode. Now, a lot of people ask came to me, oh, uh, for like ADSing. Uh, how do I change the hold? How do I change the tap? How do I change the distance and the dirt? This, this is this. This, that's, this is A mode. I have my set to the tap, but if you're someone that likes to go ahead and hold to ADS, this would be on um, where you change it. Then for bolt action, you know, sniper fire mode and single shot shotgun fire mode. Basically, tap the fire and release the fire. Tap the fire is basically when you go ahead and you shoot the um, gun while on tap the fire. It's not gonna ADS. Um, release to fire is going to ADS and once you release it, it's going to fire. Yeah, um, I do not recommend release to fire whatsoever. Try out tap the fire. And then vehicle weapon artillery side doesn't really matter. Have it all. Looking back at it, I'm not gonna talk about controls or vehicle because those is where you go ahead and change your HUDs and every person's HUD is different. If you want me to go ahead and discuss how I go ahead and make my HUDs, uh, I could definitely make a video on that. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. But yeah, every HUD is different. You guys gotta go ahead and figure out what HUD works best for you. So I think I'll leave controls and vehicles for another video. Sensitivity, I don't mind showing my sensitivity. This is my sensitivity right here. This is basically go ahead and change your sights, your hip fire, your ultimate sensitivity, your um gyro sensitivity all that stuff vehicles as well too for my sensitivity my sensitivity is the same thing as camera firing and basically what that means is when you go ahead and fire your weapon it actually has a different sensitivity in the game so let's say you want to go ahead and have a slower sensitivity when you're firing that's basically what fire sensitivity is all about for me it's the same exact thing as what you see for camera and then viewfinder is basically when you go ahead and we use that eye like you know the um eye icon for your hud and you go ahead and like look around but you're still like moving in a certain direction that's basically what that is here we are vibration now in terms of vibration i have it off we i mean i don't think i have to go ahead and go in de detail of what vibration does when you go ahead and shoot this and that third and we'll go ahead and make your device vibrate yeah i have that off loot is straightforward have everything on auto loot you should have on and collapse loot window to disable auto loot that's basically when you close the window stop the auto loot 
yeah, you can also leave that on as well. Last but definitely not least, because this low key is probably one of the most important settings for audio quality. Make sure you have this to perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to go ahead and check out this video here and this video here. Also, go ahead and smash that like button and also hit me with the subscription as well, too. You guys have been killing the upload so far. Let's see if we get this video to 30 likes. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is your boy Cyber signing out. Peace, y'all. I love you guys.